in example 10, we'll solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, then we'll factorise. In the next video, you can see how to solve the same equation by completing the square. First, let's review the quadratic formula. We have the general form of the quadratic equation, and from that we get the quadratic formula. We have our two possible solutions, x1 and x2, equal to minus b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac on 2a. The two solutions come from the plus or minus. There are two conditions necessary to use this formula. The first is that a is not equal to 0, so in fact we have a quadratic. The second is we want the argument of the square root to be greater than or equal to 0, so that b squared then is greater than or equal to 4ac. For the equation we want to solve then, we have that a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 2, and c is equal to minus 40. b squared is equal to minus 2 squared, 4. 4ac is equal to 4 times 2 times minus 40, so that's minus 320. a is not equal to 0. b squared is greater than 4ac. No, 4 is greater than minus 320. So both our conditions are met. What we can do now is to plug these values into our formula. Here's our formula and here are our values. Let's just substitute them in. So we'll have minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is minus 2 squared so it'll be 4 minus, well we saw 4ac was minus 320, so it'll be minus minus 320 on 2 times 2, that's equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 324, 4 plus 320 over 4, that's equal to 4 plus or minus 18 on 4, and so that's a half plus or minus 9 on 2. So we'll have x1 is equal to a half minus 9 on 2, that's minus 4. x2 will be 1 half plus 9 on 2 will be plus 5. Those are our two solutions, or well, the roots of the quadratic equation. Now let's factorise it. Remember for our general form of the quadratic equation and roots x1 and x2, the factorised form will be a times x minus x1 times x minus x2 is equal to 0. We had uh, x1 is equal to minus 4 x2 is equal to plus 5, and a is equal to 2, so we'll have 2 times x minus minus 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 0, that is 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 0.